Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm gonna to show you a quick way to mask your videos with circles and squares. Okay, so if you've ever done any kind of masking work using these controls in the effect controls window, you'll know it's very difficult to get perfect shapes. So for example, if I wanted to add a circle to this clip here, I'll go over and click the create ellipse mask. And what I get is something that's not a perfect circle. It doesn't have the same height and width. It's more of an oval shape. And the reason for this is these default masks will always be relative to the media that we apply them to. So it's very rare that clicking that button is going to give us a perfect circle. As well as that, it's very difficult to give these masks a specific height and width. So for example, I'll add a rectangle here, which is not a perfect rectangle, but if I wanted to turn this into a square, I could select both of these points, but I can't actually snap them to a particular location. So I could try and approximate it as best I could, but I could never get it perfect. So what I've done to speed up this process is I've created presets that will give me these perfect shapes whenever I need them. And you can download these presets in the description below. Then all you need to do is go over to your effects panel and click the context menu and then go down to import presets. This is the file here, perfect masks, and then click open. And then if I go into my presets bin, you'll see I now have a folder called masks and I have perfect shapes for the most common aspect ratios that I work with. So at this stage, that's 16 by nine and nine by 16. But if you have any other aspect ratios that you commonly use, let me know about it and I'll add it to the download file. So now if I have a clip that's 16 by nine and let's say I want to add a circle mask to this, it's as easy as just going into my presets and grabbing the mask circle 16 by nine and I'll just drop this onto my clip and now I have a perfect circle. And all I need to do to reposition this is just select the mask over in my effect controls panel, move my cursor inside the mask so I get the hand icon and I'll just click and drag this until I get it into position. And that is much faster than the time it took me to draw that initial circle. Same thing goes for working with nine by 16 media. So if I wanted to add a square to this, I'll just go over to my nine by 16 bin, add the mask square nine by 16. I'll drop this onto the clip. I'll go and reposition this one as well. But what a lot of people don't know is there's an easy way to resize these masks while constraining those proportions. All you need to do is go over to one of the points of the mask until you get the rotation tool. But if you hold down shift, that will actually turn into a scale tool. And now I can click and drag this out, but I'm still keeping that perfect square at the same time. And that's it. Hopefully those presets will make it much faster for you to create masks with perfect circles and squares. Don't forget to download the effect presets file in the description below. And if you did find this video useful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.